Hey, so welcome to this episode of Slow Down Sunshine, Single Mom Van Life. And today I'm talking about having a cat in my van. So my beloved Henry, I got him um, shortly before Rosie was born actually, because the cat I had prior to that um, passed away. His name was Mr. Kitty. He was beautiful too. I love cats love them and I love my sweet boy and I love Henry and as we go into this life into van life and living in the van and traveling around full-time I really considered bringing him with me and he's he's in here with us right now so this is just after a couple of days of having him in here these are my thoughts of why we can't or choosing not to you know I could can can do anything why I'm choosing not to keep him with us the first reason would be space. Litter box is right there, and then while we're driving, I keep him in the carrier, or when I'm doing things with the doors open a lot so that he can't run away. And as you can see, this takes up a lot of real estate. It's used for other things. I can keep like all my office stuff up here so that when I sit here to work, that I have all my work stuff right here, or like Rosie's bigger toys, or scooter, or whatever, you know, like things that are bigger that we use every day can go here. So that would be the number one thing is space. And it's been okay. We've been in here with him three. Last night was our third night. So it's been four days and three nights so far. Number two is that Rosie and I have been way more closed up in the van than we normally are. When we're normally in the van, we live out of the van, not in the van. So that, you know, we do live in the van but usually when we don't have the cat in here you know the the door is open as soon as we wake up and I might have my coffee outside or do some work outside or we play outside all day you know that type of stuff we're in and out of the van so I've noticed that we've been much more inside the van to prevent him from running away he's already kind of gotten the hang of it that he's not allowed to go out but he has tried a couple of times so that is something that definitely would enhance inhibit our goal of, of having this lifestyle and I don't want to keep him in his carrier all the time. A lot of people that have their cats in their van or RV they keep them in a harness and so when the doors open they kind of keep them tied up. I don't want to keep him tied up either you know I mean he's an animal he wants to, to roam free he wants to be outside he loves to run and chase squirrels and climb trees that's where he wants to be and the last thing number three is that because of external temperatures prevents us from being outside of the van for any extended period of time because of heat and or cold if it was cold but you know sometimes if like say if we were to go into um, a children's museum in some city and we were in there for five hours and it's a you know it's a 90 degree day outside like it can get over a hundred degrees here inside the van and that's not cool right it's not cool to leave an animal in a vehicle like that there are other ways like I said there are plenty of people that keep their cats in their vans or in their RVs and they have other things they have like portable air conditioners or fans or like these these things these other things but again like we're low on space so it's just not something I can see us doing long term with that I I, I did make the decision that if I could find Henry a happy new home that's what I would do I would get him a happy new home and that if I couldn't find him a happy new home that we would figure out how to keep him in here so I, I messaged four people that I could think of that I, where I knew he would be happy and one of them said yes so that's where we're headed right now our first destination our first trip in the van here is headed to South Carolina to a friend of the family Uncle Charlie he has land he has lots of animals he they are a self-proclaimed rescue house so the he, Henry will be able to, to come and go out of the house as he pleases he'll be able to run and climb trees and he'll be free and I know he's gonna love it so that's where we're headed we're in North Carolina right now we're driving the rest of the way to, to Charlie's house today. We're going to stay there for a few days to see how Henry acclimates. Because there are dogs and other cats there too. And Henry's not a big fan of dogs, but he does warm up to them eventually. So, <sighs> I love him so much. And it does, it makes me sad to have to let him go. But the, the, the great thing here is, is that I know he'll be happy. And I'm doing what's best for him. 
not what's best for me. I'm doing what's best for both of us, really. But I'll be able to go visit him whenever I want. And if ever, whenever I have another house or I do decide to have him in the van or maybe I get a bigger rig and there is space for him or whatever the situation may be, I can always go back to Charlie's and get him. So that is... That is cat cat van life. Van life with a cat. Hashtag cat van life. Is that a thing? I don't know. Here we go. Your new home, Henry? Yes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Your new home, Henry's. My sweet boy. Good morning, Henry. <laughs> Good morning, sweet boy. Mush, mush, mush. Hi, mush. Sir Henry. Meow. We've been at Henry's new home for a couple of days now. This is his little room right now. He's right there and it's beautiful here and he's gonna love it. He can come in and out of the house. There's a bunch of other kitty cats that just roam around free. There are two dogs that I'm sure he'll get used to and if he doesn't, he can always stay away from them because I've not really seen any of the other cats cuddling up to them either. Oh, he's so sweet. We're certainly gonna miss him, but it is really, really comforting to know that he will be super happy here. And I know the next time we see him here, he's just gonna be roaming around, happy as can be, climbing trees, because there's so many cool live oaks here to climb, and he's just gonna love it. And there's peacocks. What's not to love about peacocks? So he's gonna be super duper happy here. You can always come back and visit him anytime we want to. And if at any point in the future, we can have him back, want him back, we can come back and get him again. So a sweet boy. Such a sweet boy. Hey Rosie, how do you feel about leaving Henry here? I'm kind of scared I'm gonna get eaten. You're scared he's gonna get eaten? Mm -hmm. What's he gonna get eaten by? Like people that eat animals? Like people that eat animals? Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's not many people that eat cats, and I don't think that there's any people around here that eat cats. I think he's probably pretty safe here. Look at this place. He's gonna love it. Look at all those trees. Look at all this stuff, all these bushes. And there's there's tons of cats here too. He's gonna love it. So thanks for watching. Please give us a like below and leave any comments if you've taken your cat on the road or would want to, or if your pets are keeping you from making the decision to go full time or whatever it is regarding pets. Leave your comments below and we can chat about it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps our channel grow. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.